it's very rare that I hear someone talk with such depth of knowledge when it comes to, uh, you know, as, as you name it, traditional stoicism. And so I, I want to start just by getting an idea of why you think the traditional stoicism is so important and how does it sort of differ in your mind? Like how are you, how do you con contrast sort of traditional stoicism with what you might call, I don't know, modern stoicism of today? What are sort of the, the big picture items that you, that you think about? Yeah, well, I think there's one fundamental difference and, and that is that um, traditional stoicism uh, is an attempt to bring forth the foundational doctrines of the stoa and try to make sense of them in modern times, but to hold on to them. And by them, I mean the basic fundamental doctrines, which are, uh, you know, in, in logic, the concept of a, a cognitive impression, in physics, the concept of a providentially ordered cosmos, and in ethics, the idea that virtue is the only good, not just the highest good, but the only good. I think that um, modern Stoics would agree traditional Stoics on two of those. The one that we disagree on is the concept of a providentially ordered cosmos. Uh, their, their take is essentially to uh, abandon that and try to bring in a, a modern, uh, you know, I say modern with quotation marks, mm -hmm. um, scientific worldview to replace the Stoic worldview. So that's, that's really the thing that separates traditional Stoicism from modern Stoicism. The implications of that, of course, are, are many, as they were in ancient times, because that worldview is what separated the ancient Stoics from the ancient Epicureans. The ancient Epicureans, of course, were, you know, the, the Adams side of that Providence or Adams dichotomy. And they believed that the universe was uh, largely random and uh, chance. And the Stoics said, no, it is, it is providentially ordered. And so we see the implications of that in uh, their, their ethics. And we see in modern times, as much as they may try to fight it, they, we, we, we start to see this bleed into some rather odd uh, formulations that are a result of abandoning the physics. You know, once you give a, once you give up the foundation, then basically anything can become be made of stoicism, and that is what is happening to some degree within the modern stoic movement. You have, you know, uh, people all over the map in terms of their beliefs, and uh, you didn't have you had varying degrees. You had well, you, say, you had differences in the ancient stoa, but the scholars will tell you you didn't have any differences on those fundamental doctrines. They all agreed on those. That's what it meant to be a Stoic.